Hey guys, uh, I bought these two of 2.5 gigs PCI adapter card from TP-Link so that I can run my NAS which is based on two NAS directly on a dedicated line which is gonna be a blue one to my desktop upstairs. So what I've done so far, I have already installed one of the card over here in this PCI lane uh, then this is a blue one which goes directly into my desktop upstairs and this is typical one gig of LAN let's go ahead upstairs and try to install another this 2.5 gigs and see how it performs alrighty get upstairs and let's try to install this and a 2.5 gigs card from TP-Link into my desktop over here this yellow wire is connected to my router and uh, this blue cable as if it's coming directly from my NAS let me go ahead and install it and I'll tell you how to configure an IP address directly to your NAS server okay so at this point I am able to install my new 2.5 gig card is over here and I have my default which is one gigabit so which copies a file at very slow rate like around which max around like 125 at max but probably realistically speaking it's more like 100, 100 105 110 so that's why I need uh, dedicated lines which can help me to copy files and transfer stuff faster let's go ahead and first set up a static IP address to our new port which is on our server okay so I have just logged in on my server UI and this is tuna scale and should be the version you should be able to see version here is this 12 sorry 22 12 so let's go ahead in network section first of all and then try to configure our newly installed LAN adapter. Let's click on this. You can write a description if you like, but I'm not going to write it here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll all the way down. Try to add an IP address. Okay, so the important thing is to remember that this IP address should be on a different home network than the rest of it. So right now, as you could see, my IP address or my home network is like 192.168.0.x, so which is 5 in this case. Let's go ahead and type 198, sorry, 192.168.1.5. So as you could see that this is on a different network because the second class is 1 and here is 0. Let's go ahead, say 24, hit save, bam, test changes, yes, confirm, test, and save, done. So we have configured this, our true NAS new to 5.5 gigs of connection or IP address has been set up now let's turn on our desktop fire it up let me connect all the cables and then we'll try to set the IP, static IP address for this newly attached adapter and it should work okay fortunately my Ethernet 5 is already being detected as you could see it's a 2.5 GB as you guys could see that I am still on uh, all the network and I'm able to access tuna cui <clears throat> via or one gigs of ethernet tape cable uh let's go ahead and connect my lan which is 2.5 gigs and let's go ahead and try to configure it over here so what we're gonna do is double click here go to properties Go to IP address and let's give it uh, some IP address. It could be 
thank you one six eight one dot could be six if you like let's give that uh let's give set some uh, default gateway zero one nine two one six eight one dot zero probably okay uh this would be our default gateway and just hit okay okay and close so ideally at this point of time we should be able to access tuna's ui on our new network so let's click here 92.168.1.5 and yes bam there it is again this is a new network so at this point i'm gonna disconnect my lan from 2.5 gigs and try to do a speed test here and see how data copy are affected now so what i've done i've created a folder here test one gigs and this is my some video file let's copy and paste so as you can see here the speed comes around 90 something 80 90 somewhere around that since it's, it is over one gigs of connection that's kind of like max out it's also because probably i am reading it from a hdd i have sdd as well and let's if my test doesn't work out if the performance doesn't increase i'll try to copy it from a ssd to show you guys so first thing first let's go ahead and disable this one gigs of connection disable true nas refresh okay you don't get refresh it doesn't work on my router and let's go ahead and refresh our this session should be able to load or not <laughs> or yes okay it works cool i don't know why it's just low for some reason uh, so let's go ahead and try to copy our data from here to here if it is still accessible no it's not so let me go ahead and reconnect it Alrighty, we are back up what happened earlier that my since they disconnected my LAN, my share wasn't accessible. So let's go ahead and copy and paste here and see what the speed is. So as you could see, it actually copies at much higher rate now. Oh, wow, look at that. That is beautiful, guys. Okay, it came all the way down. Huh okay but it's still going up over 200 mb per second i think that's amazing i think it would really help me in copying and transferring file much faster rate hope that is all for this tutorial hope this help you take care guys